Welcome to MuleSoft Core Concepts Demonstration Part 3, Adding Business Logic to a Flow and Working with Components. In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a Java component in Mule and configure the component in a flow. In Mule, custom logic is implemented by using a component, most commonly a POJO, a plain old Java object. The POJO normally takes the message, does something to it, and returns the result to the flow to continue processing. Other than Java, components can be written in Groovy, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, and more. In Mule Studio, open the core concepts project worked on in the first two examples. The first step is to create a new package by going into the source main Java folder, right-clicking or command-clicking on the folder, and going to New. Select Package from the menu and name it org.mule.examples.hello. Click Finish. Next, create a Java class by right-clicking on the new package just created and going to New, then Class. Inside the dialog box are fields for the source folder, the packages class will be in, and the name field. Name this component Hello Component and click Finish. The class is now created. Add a very simple method called SayHello that returns Hello plus whatever the input string is. The method will take in a string as an argument. Looking at this component, we do not need to explicitly specify any entry point. Mule inspects the class and assumes that the single method with a string input takes the default string payload of the message. Mule performs this matching dynamically. Mule has a number of entry point resolvers that can dynamically resolve based on data types or, or arrays of data types. Or, resolvers can be explicitly specified to invoke certain methods of components. Look under Developing Components in Mule documentation for more info. Now that the component is created, create a new flow by right-clicking on Core Concepts, selecting New, and selecting Mule Message Flow. Call this flow hello.mflow. Hello. In the newly created flow window, first drag an HTTP endpoint onto the flow. Configure that HTTP endpoint by double-clicking and changing the port to 8082 so it does not conflict with the port assigned in earlier projects. Next, under Components, drag the component icon onto the window. Double-click on the component and enter its name. You can either type the full name here into this box or hit the search button. In the search, start typing the name and it will autofill for you. Select the Hello Components matching item and hit OK. Make sure to save everything here. The flow is now ready to be run and tested. To run this flow, right-click on the hello.mflow and click on Run As, then Mule Application. You'll see information as it is being loaded. Once the console states the application has started, open a browser window. In the browser window, enter localhost colon 8082 slash a name like Ross. You should see in the browser window, hello, Ross. Congratulations, you successfully created a custom Java component and integrated it with Mule. The Java component will get invoked via an HTTP request, and the component didn't need to know anything about where the data came from or where it was going. Mule has a clean separation between endpoints and components. This concludes the demonstration on components. Thank you for watching, and thank you for using Mule.